What's good, y'all? Kyle Loftus here. In this episode, we're going to talk about five reasons you need to say no to a client. That is right. You need to say no. Um, So first and foremost, number one is you're preoccupied or you're just overwhelmed with current clients and work. Guys, the last thing you should be doing is trying to take on more work if you already sense that you're overwhelmed or overloaded. Uh, You know, if for my example, you know, I'm a filmmaker, you know, for me, if I'm doing 15 shoots a month, that is a ton. You know, I'm I'm overwhelmed in the sense that, again, you know, a lot of these shoots, pretty much all of my shoots, I'm also editing, coloring, doing all of that as well. Um, I'm not like strictly a cinematographer and I just show up shoot and I'm done with the project. Some of the shoots are like that for me, but not all. So, you know, so like 15 is a lot, you know, that's a ton of work for a month. And so that would have me feeling overwhelmed. There's no reason I should be taking on more clients, especially because the last thing you want to do is disappoint one of those clients or just provide them a bad product and that's just going to do terrible for your brand name um it's going to do terrible for your credibility and again it's definitely not going to bring that client back to you second reason to say no to a client is because they're disrespectful um you know if someone is not valuing you as a human as a person and respecting your time and your skill set then say no. Don't put up with that. Um, Don't let people walk over you like that. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or you're an expert in your trade. There's no reason anyone should ever be disrespectful to another human being. And so if you're dealing with that, stop, say no. You don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be dealing with a client like that at all. If they're disrespectful, that's not a long-term relationship you want to have, nor do I think it's a relationship you want to have for like any time period, you know, like there's just no way you're going to feel good about the business you do with that person. So again, the second reason is because they are disrespectful. Reason number three, this is similar to disrespectful, but I think there's definitely a difference. And this is, uh, you know, if they're bartering, they're haggling, you know, they're trying to stretch the dollar. So I've been on plenty of shoots with clients that literally like they schedule you for eight hours, it's contracted and everything. And then they try to stretch that dollar, you know, they try to one, they try to do more than what was set for that eight hour shoot production, you know, like way outside the production. Then all of a sudden, you know, they've got, they've got all these other new requests and edits and stuff that they want you to do. They're pushing for you to stay and all of a sudden you're there nine and a half, 10 hours rather than eight. Um, Those things need to be addressed. And if those things aren't handled and if they aren't uh, resolved and prevented in the future, that probably isn't a client uh, I would recommend you, you stick along with because again, they're going to continue to try to, you know, walk over you, push you over, um, get the most out of you that they can uh, for the least amount that they can kind of give in return, if that makes sense, you know? And the last thing you wanna do is be in a relationship that isn't mutually beneficial, isn't mutually being invested in. You don't wanna be in a relationship like that, um, whether that's actually in real life, like uh, finding yourself a girlfriend or boyfriend, as well as in the business world. You know, you don't wanna be in a partnership where you aren't investing the same amount of time and effort. Um, And so again, guys, you know, if they are trying to be a penny pusher, if they are stretching the dollar, uh, they're just haggling you for every cent possible. I wouldn't recommend working with that client. Again, you know, depending on the budget, what the project is, there's a lot of other variables to consider. So maybe sure it, it could be a good one and done, you know, if it's a big brand name, but maybe you just, you're, you're working with the wrong guy within that brand. You know, I mean, again, a lot of these big brands have certain or multiple people that handle the marketing or handle the direct social. I don't know what kind of content you're producing, but you know, you could have just gotten one of the guys that's a dick or one of the girls that's, you know, just an ass, like, you know, shit happens sometimes, you know? So, uh, that's also a factor as well. So consider those things. Uh, think about those variables. Um, maybe they're a client you do a one and done with or one and kind of, you know, realign, readjust, discuss things with them. Uh, but again, do not, uh, do not settle for, uh, 
being hackled. Reason number four to say no to a client is if it's gonna jeopardize your brand and credibility. Um, so there are at times, you know, where you might get a client that's offering you a lot of money, but they might be asking for you to film something that might not be exactly morally right, or it might not align with your values. Uh, you know, especially if you're a brand that uh, is a nonprofit or you're religiously affiliated, you know, that stuff can be dramatically effective. You know, that can destroy your credibility as a company or a brand if you're in, in those spheres. Um, so that's stuff to be really, really important and considerate about is if what you're doing or what the client is asking you to do is something that is going to negatively impact your brand image and your credibility. And fifth and finally is I think you should say no to a client if there isn't chemistry. If you don't feel like you really resonate with whoever you're working with, as well as the brand itself. You know, for me personally, um, unless there's some powerful story or messaging behind it, like I'm just probably not going to be passionate about working with like Dove Soap. Like it, it's just not me, you know, like I'm, I'm just, that's not my alley, but Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, I would invest 18 hours a day for like a, a 10 hour day rate to, to like do work with those brands because I have a huge passion for them. And I think I really resonate with, with a lot of things that those brands expound and represent. And so again, guys, I think it's just making sure you have that chemistry. But again, it's not just the brand, it's the people as well, you know? So especially again, a lot of these big brands and businesses, they have people in place that handle these different departments. And that is gonna be the person you directly deal with. That is gonna be your direct contact for who knows how long, it could be years. And so if you don't have a good relationship with that person, it might be best to like part ways or again, you know, kind of slowly kind of digress from work with them and just slow it down and wait for them to take on a different position or leave or kind of work your way in through a different avenue. Again, if you knew and did work for them through the marketing, try kind of weaving in through their social department um, because, you know, the last thing you want to do is have a negative relationship with this person. And because they had a negative uh experience with you, they portray that to the rest of the company. And all of a sudden you're just, you've got a big X on yourself for working with that brand in the future. And it just kind of ruins uh, your, your credibility as a brand. Uh, so again, guys, that's, that's my uh, short little spiel right there. Those are five reasons to say no to a client. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, please like, and uh, leave us a review rate us, please uh, really appreciate the insight. Uh, and again, feel free to reach out. Uh, we'd love to connect with you guys on socials. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. We'll see you next time.